What if I told you that the future of space exploration involves a levitating train on the moon? That's right, our quest to understand the cosmos is about to take a dramatic leap, literally, into levitation. This is all thanks to NASA's Innovative Advanced Concepts Program, a think tank of sorts where the seemingly impossible becomes possible. This program is a breeding ground for ideas that are straight out of a science fiction novel. Imagine telescopes that operate on the principle of fluid dynamics, or rockets that harness the raw power of plasma for propulsion. Each project in this program pushes the envelope, challenging our understanding of what's feasible. Yet amidst this roster of revolutionary ideas, one project stands out, the Float Project, a plan to build a levitating robotic moon train. The Float Project, short for Flexible Levitation on a Track, is not just a figment of science fiction, but a concrete plan set to revolutionize lunar transportation. This ambitious initiative is part of NASA's Innovative Advanced Concepts Program, a program that's not afraid to push the boundaries of what's possible. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is the Float Project? Well, it's a plan to build a levitating robot train on the moon's surface. Imagine a fleet of magnetic robots floating gracefully above a three-layer film track. It's a concept that seems straight out of a futuristic movie, but it's actually a solution to a very real problem, transporting materials on the moon's harsh and unforgiving terrain. The Float Project aims to develop a transport system that's both durable and efficient, capable of withstanding the moon's extreme conditions while delivering on its mission. And that mission is not a small one. We're talking about the ability to transport roughly 100 tons of material per day to and from NASA's future lunar base. That's the weight equivalent of about 75 cars, just to give you some perspective. But why is this important? Well, as NASA lays the groundwork for a sustainable lunar base, a reliable transport system is key. The Float Project's magnetic robots will play a crucial role in shuttling materials necessary for research, construction, and ultimately, the survival of astronauts stationed on the moon. It's a bold vision, one that could change the way we operate on the lunar surface. The Float Project stands at the intersection of imagination and innovation, a testament to human ingenuity and our unending quest to explore the final frontier. The Float Project is part of a larger vision, NASA's plan to establish a sustainable lunar base. Diving deeper into this grand vision, it's clear that NASA's sights are set not just on revisiting our celestial neighbor, but on creating a long-term, human-friendly presence there. This is not an endeavor of whimsy or mere scientific curiosity, but a calculated move that holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. The moon, in all its silvery glory, is more than just a beautiful night sky ornament. It's a stepping stone, a launch pad, a gateway to the farthest reaches of space. By establishing a base there, we can drastically reduce the fuel and resources needed for interstellar travel, making it more feasible than ever to venture beyond our solar system. But how soon could we expect to see astronauts once again leaving their footprints in the lunar dust? NASA's ambitious timeline indicates a return to the moon as early as 2026. That's just a few short years away, and the excitement is tangible. Now where does the float project fit into this? Imagine a lunar base bustling with activity. Levitating robot trains crisscross the landscape, transporting materials from one point to another. This isn't just a scene out of a science fiction movie, but a very real part of NASA's vision. The float project is expected to be capable of ferrying approximately 100 tons of material every day, making it an integral part of the lunar base's operation. This levitating lunar locomotive isn't just about the cool factor, though that's undeniably high. It's about efficiency, durability, and the ability to sustain operations in an environment that's notoriously harsh on equipment. The float project, along with other innovative initiatives under NASA's Advanced Concepts Program, is helping to turn what once seemed like far-fetched space fantasies into realistic goals. These projects are not just about reaching the moon, but about using it as a stepping stone to go even further. With projects like FLOAT, the future of space exploration is not just a distant dream, but a reality we are steadily marching towards.